What's up guys, it's Saturday morning, we're out in the sky and we're going to the Maguire's Cars and Coffee event. Got our coffee, the girls are coming for a ride, we're meeting up with Dan, we're going to go check out some cool cars. Well we just got here guys and this event is absolutely huge. This is car park number 4 I think. So yeah, found our spots, girls come for a look, park up. Walk around, look at some cool cars. And here's another paddock. We're in this paddock. Just cars everywhere. This is just awesome, guys. Such a huge turnout. Audi Quattro. And check this out. A JDM Mini. <laughs> it's got pride seats. JDM old school wheels. And look at that for a floor mat. Man, this is super cool. I love my minis, but this is rad. This is a mismatch of styles. One of Quinn's favourites. And here we have a couple of classics, a Mazda 929, sitting on old school JDM wheels, an S13. This 929 reminds me very much of my friend Dan's one he had years ago, when we both learned how to street drift. We'd go drifting in the industrial areas. Dan and his 929, and me and my, I think it was an S14, back then, I don't know. Two tidy examples. And here we have the tidiest example of a starlight you'll see. Look at the work in the engine bay. The outside looks crispy and factory. Some small Japanese wheels. We've got a 16 valve fully worked four age under the bonnet. Fully retrimmed interior. Awesome car. And here we have a couple of tidy GDRs, an R32 and R33. Look at this one, it looks so good in silver sitting on Nismo wheels. And here we have an awesome black C33 Laurel. This is like what I drove in D1NZ way back in the day. With cool blue FD Workmeister wheels. Two awesome cars. Check this R32 four door out. The P1 wheels on the front and R33 GDR wheels on the back. GDR seats. It's got some cool bits. Man, I love the R33 GDR wheels on the back. Aiming to put them on mine as well. And here we have this immaculate Datsun 1600 packing a full on SR20, this Millennium Jade paint, fully retrimmed interior. Like someone's taken some serious time of money into this car. And here we have a super tidy and a super period correct 323 wagon with uh, ROHZs, chrome gauges, monster taco, got the filter out the hood. Oh, it's even a whale tail model. Far out. This is like 90s in New Zealand. So cool to see a few of them still rolling around in this condition and still period correct. <laughs> now we've got two super tidy cars here. Awesome S13. Man, I'm absolutely loving this Evo 6. Look at those Advan wheels. They are some of my favourite wheels for sure. Yeah, this awesome sounding R33 GDR on the pass. Obviously got cams because she's pretty lumpy. Super tidy GT3 Porsche. Loving this S14 face. Always loved that. 206 front on it. McLaren. The stock is a rock. Supra. There's just a big variety of everything going on here. And here we have this WRC inspired GA Yaris. Yeah, and I'm loving seeing these cars around and people modifying them and taking their take on this. Right next to us, stuck as a rock, clean as NSX. And some crazy car with a big wing on the back. And this gives you an idea of just how big this event is. And this is one of three car parks. Huge array of cars. JDM, American, supercars, you name it. What an epic event. Chilling on an Auckland Sunday. And here we have a stock as a rock. 180 SX, I would say Type S, rocking the teardrops. Man, you don't see that very often. So these came out as either a Type X, which was turbo, or a Type S, which was NA. I'd say this is the NA one, because typically the NA one didn't have all the aero bits. Awesome car, cool to see it in that condition, especially with those wheels. 
here we have a stage gear. So running all the same running gear as a Skyline, but in a wagon. You don't see that many of these. This one's pretty tidy. It's got some cool styling with the P1 wheels. If you want the power of a Skyline, but the room of a wagon, this could be the car for you. And I've got serious love for a Lamborghini Aventador. Look at this. Man. Seriously awesome car. Look at these wheels. It's my first time seeing a C8 in real life. Man, look at all the carbon bits and pieces and front lips. This one's modified, I would say. I'm sure they don't come with carbon lips from standard, but damn, that's seriously cool. And I can't go past this without filming it. A Lamborghini Countach. Man. Still just as cool as when I first saw one when I was a kid. And now my daughter's seeing one for the first time. How unreal is that? And this is one of my absolute favorite cars, a Toyota Celica GT. Look at this. The cool old school bonnet vents. This car has some cool improvements on it. Moz molded on duck bill wing from Lola. Seriously cool car. And here we have a super tidy spec R S15. I had a white one real similar to this actually. Mine had a front lip though. This one's got a big roof wing on the back. The factory aero wing. Mine had that as well. I do miss the interior. I did love rolling in the S15. It had such a nice like driver's position. Such a cool car. This one's super tidy. And then this R35 GDR. Absolutely love the colour. Big work wheels, 20 inch work wheels. Hard to see the colour in, in the light, but we'll come around here and see the colour. And our 232s sitting together, looking pretty in the sun. Man, it's such a huge car event. So cool to have our cars out together rolling again. And this is what happens when Dan pops his bonnet. People appear from everywhere. <laughs> Check out the SR20 goodness. And look at the colour on this GT3. That's got to be one of the best colour combos I've ever seen. Man, how rad is that? We've got an FD, we've got a new Type R Civic. The variety of cars here is epic. And we've got this Mitsubishi Evo 6.5 Tommy Mackinnon edition. Look at this, it's actually a full-on rally car with Tommy Mackinnon logos and everything. I've still got seriously love for this style of Evo. When I got into cars, I was really into rally. And this was the epitome of rally back then. Look at what we have here. Beautiful R32 GDR in silver. This crazy like purple brown color. I absolutely love that. Evo 9 wagon. Don't see many of them around, especially sitting on work wheels. That's sick. Evo 10. Man, what a cool collection of cars sitting here. And look at the saw we just spotted. They're like wide body guards. Look at the metallic in the paint, the flake. Far out, this thing is rad. We've got the super clean NSX on BBS wheels. So rad to see these cars out and being used. A couple of super tidy FDR X7s. I really like this one, eh? With the Series 7 wing and the bronze work wheels, side skirt extensions, super tidy car, and the Series 6 front on it. And we've got the super tidy S14 facelift on R34 GDR wheels, big Brembo brakes all around. R34 GDR wheels just suit everything, they're just such a classic wheel. I had them on a JZX100 back in the day. Awesome car. And here we have an absolutely immaculately restored Honda City. Back when I was younger, me and a friend used to roll around in one of these. He had one and we went big missions everywhere in it. This one's got a factory motorbike, motocomp bike in the back. This was a factory option. So you could park up in Tokyo and ride your bike to work. This car is painstakingly restored. This is just amazing. And now we're at our second event of the day, which is the Sports Car Club Motocana. 
So this is an event I've driven at many times in the past. I've actually won this event before in my A86. So we thought we'd stop in and have a look. There's all sorts of crazy beasts here. Look at this. And here's the arena and all the cars. So let's go check out the action. And this event is normally dominated by minis. We've got two awesome examples here. And we've got an R32 four-door. GDR front on it. GT86s. It's always a ton of MX5s. A lot of regular cars here. Porsche even. And this is the area where the event takes place. First car out. A86. This was a truly epic event. There was cars absolutely everywhere. I mean, everything you could think of. Japanese, JDM, American, European, just cars everywhere. It's so good to see so many people in New Zealand loving their cars and getting out there and using them. Thanks for watching another video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll keep the content coming.